Hello, I'm Stuart Miller, a docent for the Friends of Historic Second Church, a nonprofit organization dedicated to the preservation and restoration of Chicago's Second Presbyterian Church, built in 1874. In 1900, Second Presbyterian's original sanctuary, as seen here, was destroyed by fire. Here you can see that the original sanctuary was almost completely destroyed while the rest of the structure survived. The congregation hired Chicago architect Howard Van Doren Shaw to build a new sanctuary, which opened in 1901. The result is what we see today, a virtually intact 1901 interior that was inspired by the arts and crafts design movement, whose ideas were highly influential at the turn of the last century and still reverberate today. One aspect of arts and crafts was the belief that an architect should create a structure as a Gesamtkunstwerk, a German term that translates as total work of art. He or she accomplishes this in part by developing a unity of design, by, for example, repeating one or more design motifs in different forms. Shaw followed this idea by selecting three design motifs that have symbolic importance to Christians. One of these is the grapevine, which of course symbolizes the wine of the Last Supper and the Christian sacrament of communion. The grapevine appears almost everywhere in the sanctuary. Shaw had grapevines executed in wood on the pulpit and the ends of pews. The brass organ pipe screen consists of grapevines. And the muralist, Frederick Clay Bartlett, included grapevines in some of his angel paintings. We believe a woman artist, Blanche Ostertag, designed the narthex window, in which she used the lead caming to create a stylized grapevine. And grapevines also appear in plaster panels on the balcony railing. You have probably already noticed that while all these grapevines in each medium are all recognizable as grapevines, they are generally not wholly realistic depictions, but have been stylized or abstracted to one extent or another, the Ostertag window being the most evident. This approach is another hallmark of arts and crafts design, as is the belief that nature is the only true source of design, a belief that in this case nicely dovetails with the Christian symbolism of the grape. A second design motif is the pomegranate, which symbolizes fertility or rebirth, an important aspect of Christian belief. Also, of course, of nature, they are always shown open to display the seeds. Here we have them in wood and in plaster, and they appear throughout the sanctuary, including in some of the angel murals. Angels are, of course, part of popular Christian belief, and there are some 175 in the sanctuary. The angels atop the organ pipe screen are plaster with bronze patination. Angels are depicted in all of Frederick Clay Bartlett's murals. Two of the most charming angels are carved in wood on either side of the pulpit. And plaster angels appear to hold up the chandeliers. And there are other traces of angels. The ceiling light fixtures under the balcony use stylized angel wings. Shaw also used some secondary motifs, for example, crowns appear in the chandeliers and in the lights over the altar. Shaw also unified his design by coordinating color. We are very lucky to have some of the original carpeting whose colors echo those of Bartlett's murals. The effect of this is somewhat obscured today since much of the original carpet has been removed and many of the murals have yet to be cleaned and restored to their original colors. We are extremely fortunate the Second Presbyterian Sanctuary has survived virtually unchanged since it was designed in the arts and crafts style in 1901. The Friends of Historic Second Church and Second Presbyterian's congregation continue their efforts to restore and preserve this wonderful structure. We hope you will come and see it for yourself when we reopen for tours in 2021.